Well, Darren, we didn't think we were going to have to worry too much about corn insecticides a few years ago when BT rootworm corn came out. And for most farmers, they said, oh, it's awesome. I don't have to go out where there with Capture or Force or Aztec anymore. It's going to take care of all of that. But now we're starting to see some resistance coming up with rootworm corn and it not controlling all the rootworms. So now what are we going to do? Well, okay, you've got resistance, but also the other thing that you have to remember with any of these BT traits, I don't care if it's Smart Stacks or VT3 or, or Herculex or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. With any of the BT traits, a bug has to take a bite out of that plant mm -hmm. in order to ingest that BT protein. And I'm with you, Brian. When those traits started coming out, I thought, man, this is going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It'll be the best control we've ever had and it is. It is better than what we've had in the past. However, it's still not good enough alone. It's still just a one-man show and you need a little helper alongside to take care of these problems because if you have a ton of rootworms, they're going to chew up just too much of that root. You aren't going to be able to take up enough water and nutrients to feed your crop. You're going to lose yield or you're going to get disease on those roots. So I don't care what kind of corn you're planting. I still recommend using an insecticide, and I certainly will on our farm too. Okay, so what we are doing on our farm, just so you know, is with the Smart Stacks corn that's got two BT traits, we're less worried about rootworm resistance. I don't think there's anything resistant to both traits at this point. So we're just running with a one-third rate of insecticide. So in other words, capture would cost us probably three or four bucks an acre. Force would probably cost us five. In the VT3 corn, we're going to run with at least a half rate, if not a two-thirds rate of insecticide there. If we have have refuge corn, then we'll be running a full rate, whether we're in continuous corn or a corn soybean rotation, because in our area there is a lot of corn and we're going to have corn rootworm problems, period. Now the reason why we're doing this very simply is economics. When we've got corn that we can sell for five dollars a bushel, it's whole different than when you can sell that corn for two dollars a bushel. So even if let's say we only lose three bushels, well, three bushels at two dollar corn, that's six bucks. All right, no huge deal. But three bushels at five dollar corn, that's 15 bucks an acre. If it only costs us five or seven or heck even ten dollars, we still had a good net gain, a good net return on investment. We've used insecticide all the way through on our farm. It's not like we've gone 10 years or 20 years with no insecticide. We've been using some every year. It's kind of like weed control. If you've got you know, a weed control problem and you address it every year for 20 years, chances are at the end of that, you really aren't gonna have many problems. But you know, if one year you address it and then five years you don't, well, you've got so much pressure out there that it does change what the recommendations are. What we say we use on our farm, you gotta keep in mind, we have been using insecticide all the way along. So our pressure is a little bit lower than some other guys that haven't been using insecticide. Well, once again, we would strongly encourage you to at least consider an insecticide, whether that's capture liquid or it's Force, Aztec, or Lorsban Dry, or for that matter, even the smart box options like Fortress and stuff. Anyway, with all these insecticides, like Darren said earlier, I think was the very key point to this. Even if you don't have rootworms that are resistant to the BT corn you're planting, they still have to take a bite out of that root. And when they do, they've slightly damaged the plant. And besides that, they've now opened that plant up so disease is more likely to enter in. And I'm not taking a knock at the traits here. They still have great value yep. for you. I think they're fantastic. It's just that we need a little extra help as well if we want to get high yields. Now, if you just want to get average corn, just plant it well, with the trade it's, and, and it's, it's not just yield, it's about profitability because you know I like to get yield, but I also like to make some money while I'm doing that. And again, when we have five or six dollar corn, it's a lot different than two dollar corn. So you gotta relook at return on investment on your farm. Well, one thing that will give you a fantastic return on investment is controlling our weed of the week. We'll show you how coming up next. <laughs> 